What's up guys, it's Evan Husa 57 here. This is farming on Destiny after the patches. Um, this still works, this is the best place to do it. Go to Cosmodome Patrol, come to this spot where you first start the Devil's Lair Strike mission, or if you have a full fire team, just use the Devil's Strike uh, and start from there. You'll be killing Fallen, you should be using a scout rifle sniper rifle and rocket launcher as your weapon systems stand here on the shipping container or the hill to my left use your heavy ammo for your rocket launcher first you then use your sniper rifle um, like i said this is after the patches so the drop rate for enemies is significantly lower if you kill them within the first few seconds of them spawning you can get multiple engrams from one kill as you've seen i got Two, three, uh, two blues, three greens from that one, and I've got four greens on that one. Um, so it is still the fastest way to do it. Then switch over to your scout rifle and just keep emptying the ammunition from it. Um, when you get down to your last magazine or two of ammunition, your ammo will regen. It will regen for your primary, your specialty, and your heavy weapon. So there's no need to use ammo synthesis or to run up there and get ammo. As you can see, my ammo just regened, and you can just keep doing it. As far as spots to stand, you can see you can be up there on top of this little like uh, metal platform here where I'm standing or back on the shipping container where my friend's standing. You can use your supers and grenades against the enemy, but it does slow the spawn rate from an eight second spawn to a 12 second spawn, so I don't recommend it. Also in this area, you can get public events. You, they're mostly eliminate the target, and it'll either be a hive knight or it'll be a uh, fallen captain. Both are very easy to eliminate. You can even eliminate them by yourself. This is also a good way to do several bounties, um, like 100 precision kills, 100 kills without dying, uh, gold tier public events, kill 20 enemies without receiving damage from them. It's just extremely easy to do. Uh, this is the Fallen Captain. He's a little bit harder because his shield regens very quickly, but if you have multiple people, he's easy to take down. You really should not be farming unless you are a level 20 or higher. Just go play the story until you can level up. It's really easy. And here we're looking at some of the loot that you can get. You're mostly going to get greens. So when you get them, coordinate with your team, break them down. Um, just very easy. You're going to get glimmer. You're going to get weapon parts and your armor parts. There's three spawns for chests in this immediate area. So you're going to get spin metal and glimmer from them. It's a very effective way to build up your glimmer. You can also level up weapons and gear very easily at this. Um, you have the complete drop table, so it is possible to get legendary engrams or exotic engrams. And occasionally, you know, there's spin metal that spawns that you can pick up and turn in for either vanguard marks or crucible marks. So this is really just a very effective way. As you see, I got a legendary engram right there. Uh, then go to the Cryptarch, turn everything into the Cryptarch. For every level with the Cryptarch you go up, you're going to receive a package by your Postmaster that's going to contain uh, 250 Glimmer and then two Engrams, either Decoherence or Legendaries. Also, if you've done the Nightfall, you get bonus XP and bonus reputation gained when you cash in everything.